SharePoint provides a common framework for helping you do your work efficiently and effectively and to improve communications between you and your colleagues. This introductory video is intended to provide you with a base understanding of Microsoft SharePoint, so we'll cover the terminology you need to know to make your way around the software. We'll start with lists. Within SharePoint, data is organized into collections called lists. Lists are like a table in a database or an Excel spreadsheet in that they contain many individual records or rows. List attributes are shown as column headings, as you see here. They help distinguish list items from one another. A list item is a discrete record within a list that has the same attributes as every other list item in that list. These attributes can be of many types, including, but not limited to, numbers, strings, dates, files, and system users. There are exceptions to these content types, but we'll cover that in a later video. It should also be noted here that file attributes are attachments to the list item. The next important term you need to know is document library. Document libraries, like lists, are collections of data. But unlike lists, document libraries are meant to be a repository for documents, including Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, etc. As you see, this library is already populated with some documents. The attributes of those documents are shown, again, as column headings. A document library item is a discrete record, and more importantly, a discrete document. Each document in the document library will have the same attributes as the other documents in the library, though each document may have a different template. You can create a template for files within your document library and select one to use for a new document in the New tab. Two important features to note are, number one, the document control feature, which allows a single editor to check out a document to edit it, thereby restricting access to only one user at a time. Permissions can be given to users to allow for read-only or more restricted permissions. Number two is document versioning, which allows for changes made to the document to be tracked over time. The next term is workflow. The button you see here shows where to access workflows for this list item. Note that not all lists will have workflows associated with them. Those lists that do not have workflows will not show the Workflows button. A workflow is a packaged set of instructions that can be executed in a repeatable fashion for any given list item or document library item. Workflows may be executed automatically by the system on the creation or modification of a list or library item. They can also be executed manually by the user. The last term is View. All lists and document libraries present their information in views. Views are similar to a simple database query where you can specify what kind of records you want to see and how they should be presented. Here I'm showing a view of test list A using the All Items by Status view. You can select a different view, even a custom view you create, in this box in the upper right of your screen. Now you're familiar with the foundational elements of SharePoint. Our how-to videos will show you how to perform basic user and developer level operations using these elements. You can find them and more at blog.precipio.com.